intolerable. Clouds of mosquitoes and other less uh, identifiable pests continue to descend upon the ablet with uh, maddening persistence. Illness and uh, irritation abound. I thought I'd try a French accent. <laughs> if only because the High Master is canonically French. How are you doing, by the way? Uh, we're back in the High Master estate and we've got a courtyard quest. We've got the Baron's Invitation. I still don't quite know what that does, even though I have found it on my other save. And the Tin Flute. Obviously not great for us. I was thinking the Darkest Dungeon could be sizably uh, in the easand by the finding of a good trinket for the Hand Master. Or eight of them, perhaps. It's just a thought. Uh, we can't really do that yet. And I don't know what kind of, uh, what kind of frequency we're going to be able to do courtyard quests with. I'm kind of thinking maybe I want to wait on this one until we uh, we have a handmaster trinket available but on the other hand i would like to see all the new content and to be i kind of feel like there must come a point where you have when you're able to grind the courtyard for trinkets right because otherwise you'd only find well maybe i don't know like four or five or eight or ten or whatever on a single playthrough and i feel like that is not the design that red hook are traditionally uh particularly good at so i think we're gonna do it i think we're gonna do it okay you are I don't even know what you are. You are, you are going to be rank two, my friend. Uh, at least for now. Bows yet? Uh, well, you can be rank one. That's not necessarily a problem. You can be rank one. Mordui? You can... Ah, well, I mean... I guess you can be rank four. Yeah? Yeah, why not? You can be rank four for now. It doesn't really matter too much. Danger. Danger. Uh, you can be rank three. That is an easy decision. We've got our diamond dogs. We'll sort by level. Obviously, this is going to be an apprentice dungeon, even though we have a lot of level sixes ready equipped. But it's not a huge problem, right? Everyone's fine because they are presumably from the experienced recruits part of the stagecoach. Yep, certainly looks like it. Maybe not more do then. All right, and we should check our stagecoach. I think we checked it last time, but we should double check. No, we're, we're fine. We are absolutely fine. All right, so our trinket should just reappear right at the end there. That should make things a little bit easier. You stun and less stress, give you healing and uh, and camouflage cloak. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very confused. I'm very confused though. Did it not equip all my trinkets? I didn't lose my trinkets. Seems odd. I didn't lose my trinkets. The guy died, but I picked his trinkets up, right? I must have picked his trinkets up. So they would have been returned to my inventory. But they do not appear to be here. Well, isn't that a problem? Unless it is one of these. It's just kind of filtered back into the middle. He had a spiked collar, right? No, he didn't have a spiked collar. What did he have? Ha. Huh. Well, that's a pain. I don't know what happened. I'm sure I picked his trinkets up. Anyway, we'll give you the Ancestor's Pistol. And I'm not even sure I want anyone to have the Spiked Collar. Because ranks 3 and 4 are the big damage dealers. But they also need to be able to heal themselves. Uh, I definitely don't want to give it to rank 2. That much is obvious. Uh, I mean, they're, not, they're probably not going to heal themselves that much. The Spiked Collar is probably worth it. Uh, you can have the crescendo box, that's fine. Plus two speed, but that'd be more useful on you. Yeah, that'd be much more useful on rank four. And where are we going? The Crimson Court? I don't know. I mean, well, the courtyard. I've only done one mission there ever. And it was this mission. I don't re don't really recall if things actually bleed you, particularly. Um, I feel like they must do, but I also feel like I don't really remember them doing so, if that makes any sense. Uh, we could take uh, Wolf's Tassel. Doesn't seem that good. Oh, wow, we have the Prophet's Eye? How the hell did I miss that? All right. Um, why did I particularly care about that being on rank four? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know the answer to. All right, well, we'll give the uh, the Prophet's Eye to, uh, to rank four. I actually completely blanked on that being a, being a thing that I had access to. Uh, but no more. We're doing fine. Right. Provisions. Provisions. 
Once we get to the courtyard, we're gonna start getting people infected, right? So we 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 uh, we're going in a little bit prepared from my other from my other series, I guess. We really really want to make sure that um, uh, that we uh, we have enough blood, and we start to stockpile the blood and don't use it frivolously. I think that's reasonable. It's a short mission, but I think it's actually like quite long though. <laughs> uh, we'll take ten torches. That's fine. I'll take three shovels. I don't know if obstacles are scripted. I think they probably are, but I don't know off the top of my head. We'll take a key. And I guess we'll take a laudanum. I feel like if it's going to be useful anywhere, it's going to be useful in the Crimson Court. Or in the courtyard. I keep calling it the Crimson Court. You know exactly what I mean. Stop being so pedantic. Let's go. The courtyard and gardens surrounding the manor were once a point of pride for the diligent custodians I employed. Great banquets and lavish social affairs were hosted here under the stars. Despite the expectation of propriety normally ascribed to those in our position, we mocked the stoic melancholy of the moss-covered fountains and cherubic statues, our salacious trysts half-hidden in the hedgerows, our morality slipping ever deeper into the mud. Mud. Soaked and sinking, these stone terraces and sprawling gardens were the site of long-forgotten revelry and well-remembered regret. Okay, I, th I think this is familiar. <laughs> the spirits command you to do fuck all, my friend. I command you, bitch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is scripted in the same way the darkest dungeon is. That's okay. Means we know roughly what to expect. And things do bleed here. That's that's the big thing about the courtyard that I didn't expect. Everything bleeds. Oh, I forgot about it. We, we did need to take torches. That's okay. That's a silly mistake. But a mistake nonetheless. We did need to take torches. And um, Wilhelm's rush, yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, things do actually bleed. I kind of assumed that they would not bleed. Because, you know, you would, wouldn't you? I mean, maybe you wouldn't. Maybe it's just me that assumed that. Can we stun it? No, but we can probably kill it. Yeah, okay. Turns out that's better, who knew? I'd rather have the gold than the busts. Every single time, at this stage in the game at least. And you can actually, I, I, you can actually use a torch to buff your dudes. As I recall, I don't know if you can do it in combat. You can. Uh, more accuracy, yeah, that, that's great, 100%. 10 is good, but it's not quite good enough. Uh, it's, it's functionally dead now. The thirst? I can't remember what that does. Moves him up, bleeds. Oh, and gives him the crimson curse. All right. Oh, he's so crimson. He's such a crimson man. And it heals that dude as well. I can't remember if I mentioned that. We will, yeah, we'll, we'll just kill it. And these guys can't be stunned. Which makes rank one really actually terrible. I think we just hands Harry and get the bleed on. Powerful blow. Yeah, two damage and it, it bled all of them one for three. That's actually pretty good. Is there any point in using guard dog? Yeah, I, I think there definitely is. And the point is plus 20 dodge for three rounds, which seems very powerful. Oh, yes, that's fantastic. Also, the fact that he's already got the Crimson Curse means that if he's guarding someone who's hit with an attack that would give them the Crimson Curse, they won't get the Crimson Curse. Which is, uh... Pretty red. Alright. So, so we can hands Harry here. If the bleed hits, then... Yeah, we should be able to do some damage to it. Okay. That is zero damage. We'll hands Harry, that's fine. The bleed is so important here. Against their protection. And we will... We can't stun, so we may as well just keep hands hurrying, man. And yeah, maybe it would have been better to, to dodge tank with a view to hands hurrying with rank 1 before that. But that might have been better. There's not a huge amount in it. The slow death. But strictly better is strictly better, right? Unforgiving. These guys do heal themselves like... Like crazy, honestly. Oh no, he's been cursed. Yeah, so it definitely would have been better to, to dodge tank with rank 2 there. That's... That's okay. We'll hands Harry here. That should kill. Yeah, it should kill the back line. If that had hit the front line for one, which it definitely could have done. 
but I killed that too. What's it? Speed one. All right. Yeah, we're going to be fine to uh, to heal here. And I guess we'll dodge tank and then hit it with rank one, whose speed is reasonably high still. Oh, wow. Must have got a bad roll, I think. Yeah, his speed is seven, and a, a dude with one speed went before him. I mean, that is possible, but come on, man. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Alright. Well, hopefully we can lick wounds. And I mean, we may as well cry havoc, right? Nice. It's the only person I cared about it hitting on, obviously. And we'll hit it. Ha. No huh. Yeah, well, uh, we'll use a torch here, get the extra accuracy on. We can use a pitch soak torch here. Burn out the infestation. And I've got to remember where these, uh, where the quest locations are, man. If you haven't already seen my, uh, my, my first impression of the Crimson Court, I, uh, you probably have seen that I've got another series uh, called Blood Moon, which is where I'm doing a Stygian run uh, in the Crimson Court fresh, completely blind. So, I mean, if you, were, if you, did, if you were interested in seeing my, my actual first impression of the zone, then you can always go back and watch that. Otherwise, I mean... Because, I mean, uh, this is not quite a blind run, at least this first, uh, the very first Crimson Court dungeon, I guess, is not completely blind. And by the time I get to the second one, I'll probably be further ahead in the other series. So it is going to be kind of split between those two. But for first impressions of the zones, of the zones, the zone, the zone itself, uh, you're probably in the wrong place. You can use a torch here, right? I think. Yeah, but it's just stress relief. Yeah, one stress relief. That was a torch well spent. Oh man, I kind of wish I hadn't brought those torches. This should not be a problem as long as... Okay, we got the jump on them. We got a speed of 10, so... It's really useful. Okay, so a hands Harry and a hands Rush should do it now. Oh, nice. So rank 1's definitely dead, yeah. Rank 2, we need to hit it for 9. Or 10, smartass. Sweet. <laughs> That was a really, really good fight. It's always a nice relief when you get an easy fight like that. Uh, so we're down to one shovel. That's a little bit worrying. Maybe you shouldn't use that shovel on the flower bed. Maybe. Maybe. So we will... We'll camp here. Because we've got a crocodile fight coming up, I believe. It's not too bad. The manservant's annoying. Oh, even Hans Harry isn't very good here. If the bleed had gone on, on that first one it would be, Hans Harry would be great. But it didn't, so it's not. We can't stun these. It doesn't matter how hard I try, we can't stun these. That's not a problem. We can kill them instead. Turns out that's better, who knew? And I guess I'll mark rank two. Get that protection off. Yeah, lovely. Lovely! Oh, that's a good dodge. Um, yeah, so we, we want a guard here. We can afford to take our time at this point. Oh dear, bleeding for one, so we'll hands Harry. I know we'll hands Harry with rank one. And there was definitely an argument for using the dog treats there. Yeah, we have to hands Harry here. And it's now dead. Just don't give my dudes the Crimson Curse, alright? The only one who could have been given the curse there was rank 4, because rank 3 was guarded and the other two already have it. Oh, lovely. So we're... Oh, that was really good. So we're actually doing fine now for, for in, in, by pretty much every metric, right? It's pretty good. More blood, I will take it. This I ain't gonna leave it. At least promises success. Ah... Kind of an awkward one. Do I want to get rid of the holy water or the deeds? It's the holy water. Because districts exist. Districts are going to be... And this is something that I am kind of maybe having a little bit of trouble adjusting to. Is that with districts unlocked. 
Uh, we actually have a use for, for heirlooms in the end game now, which is not something I'm used to having. <laughs> so that, that's really good. I think that's the entire reason they, they brought in districts, was to give us a reason to pick up heirlooms later on, which is obviously great. Right, so... I think we come up here and get the quest location. We could even backtrack straight away. And then we have to come down here, and it's like down here past a boss fight, I think. No one needs a stress relief. I'll, I'll keep the torch. I can use it to buff our accuracy. I don't know why I would use it there to buff our accuracy. But that's what we've done. Can we use laudanum? I, I, I really don't know what it's for. Does it do something with the, with the crimson curse itself? No. I guess we try it. The item had no effect. All right. No worries. Well, there's the quest, Kyrio. This is not a difficult fight. Seven is not really where we want to be. We could use a dog tree, and that would probably kill it. It's not worth it, though. We, we're going to have a tough fight against a croco at some point in the near future. And I feel like I may end up using four or five dog treats just in that one fight. Yeah, well, we'll hit it for the damage, I think. Yeah, three is nice. Doesn't matter that it resisted the stun, because it's dead. This is how a life is taken. And I, uh, man, I would love to camp, but we're a little bit low on food. I brought 16 food to a short dungeon. Also, it's a short dungeon. I can't camp. <laughs> it just feels like such a long dungeon that I figure I must be able to camp with somebody. I've just been completely blanking on the fact I don't have firewood all, all the time. Damned fountain. A burbling fount spews crimson ochre from some damnable source. I never know whether it's ochre or ichre. So I kind of went in between and went with ichre. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know what to do here. Um, I feel like I should try something, but I, I feel like it would be holy water, right? And I don't have any holy water. I guess I'll use herbs. No herbs. Fuck it, let's touch it. Treasure lies in the gore-filled basin, and treasure indeed. 750 golds, 500 gold in the form of an onyx. It's looking pretty good. So I don't, I think this is a dead end, just a curio and a battle. Um, I don't really want to explore there unless we have to. This is, oh, they didn't command you last time, buddy. Why would they command you now? That's all right. It is better than a trap. It's a lot worse than you just keeping your hands to your fucking self, but I suppose we have to pick our battles, you know? We'll use a torch here, I guess, because we have a little bit more stress. No, it's, it's just not worth it, is it? It's just not worth it. Unless it heals everyone's stress. I don't think it does. It's worth a try. No, okay. Well, you know, now we know, you know, and knowledge is priceless. Knowledge is power. Oh, power is power, Lord Bailey. <laughs> It's a, it's a cultural reference. It's a cultural reference. I figure we might we might have to use a dog tree here. And I think we are going to use it just to kill the sycophant. Yeah, uh, without a dog tree. Not sure how the maths works out on that one. I imagine that would have hit for 9 or 10. Probably 9. Knowing how percentage buffs work in this game. Oh, that's annoying. Um, it's not that annoying, to be fair. Five, so we have to hands rush again. Unless we want a blackjack and maybe stun it. Okay, well, it's dead now anyway, but that's fine. And we will stun. Oh, we can't stun you. We can't stun you. You stun, so we can't guard. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, I mean, I guess this guy takes our blood and then turns it into the blood in that kind of you know, definite article inducing bulbous brain of his there. And uh, and then it becomes the blood and then we take it from his corpse and then drink it to sate our vampirism. This game is horrible. This game is just straight up nasty, man. I should be used to it by now. Like, coming up for 250 hours in. Well, Blackjack again, yeah, and it's dead now. So we will dodge for the guard buff. Which is definitely not the right way to say that sentence. Oh, a ruby. 
Animal food, yeah, okay. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Sorry, Wayne, about oh Ruby and some more. Well, I mean I guess we're gonna gonna die anyway, so we're all gonna die one day. Uh, do we wanna get rid of the Olixes? I think we're fine for crests. Um You know what, I wanna get rid of the torches. I'm not really feeling the accuracy buff particularly useful. So uh, I'll just get rid of those. That's a weird. I assume that's a bug. We can we can get rid of those crests, buddy. That's not a problem. This is it's a it's a spade, right? But is it also? I think it's a spade or holy water. I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave it anyway. I don't have either of those things to spare. Oh, dude. I mean, you can have the blood. It's an interesting one, because like, do I feed him the blood now and make him better in combat? Or do I take the blood back to town and have a big old stockpile of it so that we can uh, not lose heroes later on? I think that's a, a very deliberate dilemma that Red Hook likes to force you into. This girl, I think you can just give her blood and she gives you just some random shit that often isn't worth it. So I think we're just going to leave it. I will give him the blood at the start of the next battle. Because I think the next battle is going to be against a big old crocker. So... I think we're gonna need it, honestly. Yeah, there he is. Mutation, unnatural and abhorrent. I like that the ancestor is finally sounding terrified in this game. Now it's it's actually great. This guy is a hard, hard hitter. However, we don't have any healing, so our only real choice is to nuke him down and stun him when he gets to the front. This is what I saved the dog treats for. I think we're gonna be okay. But this fight is definitely going to be harder than the flesh fight in the last uh, in the last episode we did, and that's saying something. I mean, it's not really saying something. We did lose someone in that fight, so we did lose someone in that fight. But hopefully, we can get away without losing anyone here. I do want to mark you, get rid of the protection, get some extra damage from Hound's Rush. Turns out, four Hound Masters is actually a really good marking team, which is pretty funny. So. Okay, he's not quite in blackjack range yet. He's been buffed with damage and protection, but he's, uh, his protection debuff is already mitigating that. Oh no, he is in blackjack range. Okay, well we can blackjack him with rank 1. He does get 2 attacks per round, and that's not great, but it's okay. I think we can't afford to waste any more time guarding when he's marked and bleeding. We need to take advantage, we need to just kill it. And we can stun it with rank 1. Its speed is middling to high. But it's taken a lot of hits right now. 4 for 3 bleeding as well is good. 4 for 3 give or take. I don't really like the way bleeding and, and blight tooltips are presented in the game. Because the damage is only accurate for the next round. Yeah, it's taking 3 now instead of 4. Um, yeah, we, we can just stun it, right? 1, 4, 5, 1, 7, so yeah. I mean, every single time. 88% chance to stun. So I guess like eight times in nine. All right. Ah, so we should actually just kill it now, right? Should be dead, pretty much. Oh. Uh, I guess we're actually, no, wait, there's no point guarding. I just need to hit it. <laughs> oh, and the stun went on again. That's really good. I didn't actually check his stun resistance. I assumed it went up. Yeah, it only went up by 40%, so it's still a really good chance to stun. Well, maybe I was wrong, you know? Maybe that wasn't harder than the flesh fight last time. Oh, a tyrant's tasting cup. can be felt. They can be beaten. Oh, the flavor is unbearable. 33% stress heal, 25% stress. Unfortunately, it's a jester trinket, so... I also figure it doesn't sell for anything. But I think it's worth it to uh, to drop the anti-venom. We can at least check whether it whether it sells. So this should be a quest curio, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm glad that fight went well, though. I mean, if it's if its HP had been a little bit higher, we might have been in real trouble. But we were not. And also, we forgot to give him the blood. <laughs> we're not suffering for it yet. But I, I feel like it's not really... It's not worth giving them both the blood until they're wasting and they're back in town. They'll take it automatically, right? I think that's probably fine. I mean, we don't even need to keep these guys around, necessarily. Yeah, that's it. We don't necessarily need to keep them there. 
Let us hope that is the end of things. You're gonna be at level three, right? Also, I, I don't know if I'm pointing this out before. I feel like I might have done it in passing, but I really like the fact that this dungeon layout is shaped like the flagellant's flail. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how intentional that is. I figure it's pretty intentional, but I really like it anyway. Let's go back to the Hamlet. I'm very, very happy with how that went. In those younger years, my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism, a roiling apiary where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Driven half mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Shit, dude. Well, we got this worthless leopard trinket. <laughs> That's okay. I'm okay. I'm in this for the fun, man. I'm not... You know, we're on Radiant here. I'm not necessarily uh, too worried about the amount of time we're taking. I'm enjoying this series. I hope you're enjoying it too, by the way. I mean, I hope this is enjoyable to watch. Calm is really bad. He needs to be a dodge tank from now on, basically. Naturalize, great. Dipsomania is not too bad. Healer's Gift is okay. Necromania is pretty, uh, pretty, you know, you don't really notice it, to be honest, most of the time. Securio interaction quirk, they tend to be slightly worse. These yeah. fiends carry a pernicious plague. A sickness so virulent, so insidious. It is more a curse than a mere disease. There's some real emotion in the ancestor's voice, this expansion. In the in the original game he was very uh, he was very dry and matter of fact. But uh but in the expansion he genuinely seems to be uh I said the voice acting, if anything, is even better, and that is really saying something. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.